Hey guys, what is going on? Man, it has been a long time since I've posted anything, really. I mean, I've gotten messages from some of you, and you like, uh, hey, um, where the hell'd you go? And I'm like, well, you know, I'm just taking a step back for a little bit, you know, get things done around the house and my life, you know, just straighten everything out before I, you know, commit so much time into doing something like this. Um, but anyways, let me set the scene for you. Let me set the scene for you because I built something. I built something out of convenience, and before I go any farther, I don't want to take all the credit from it because a buddy of mine actually gave me the idea to do it. He's not a YouTuber or anything, so he shouldn't get too pissed off. But yeah, he gave me the idea to do this. Um, I just put my own spin on things and did things a little different than what he would have done. So, let me set the scene for you. You've got this catfishing spot, right? But you have to trek down a hill, through the woods. The truck can't get to it. You've got enough gear to where you have to make multiple trips. And by the time you get everything up and down this hill, from the truck to the water, you're just wore out. You don't even want to bait a hook anymore. So, what... I've done, I made a cart. I made a catfishing cart. I call it the catfishing Cadillac. Let me turn the camera around. Be prepared to be amazed. All right, this is what we've got here. This is a cart that I bought from Academy. You could probably pick them up cheaper than brand new like I went. Um, but yeah, it's a cart. I believe it's four and a half feet long. I think it's just. I think it's around two and a half feet wide or so, maybe between two and a half and three feet wide. I don't remember the exact dimensions of the cart. It's got air tires. It's got. I believe they're like six inch tires. We're rolling with the white walls. You know, you got a rolling style. You know, um, I'm gonna put twelves on it real quick or before too long. No, I'm kidding. I'm not going that. Um, as far as what I've done to the cart, as you can see, I put four rod holders on it. I personally like to catfish with four rods. Some people like to use more, some people like to use less. That's fine. This is just my personal preference. So yeah, four rod holders. I actually bolted them on to this metal frame right here with machine screws, nuts, and washers. Um, got it all done the same way they are, you know, I believe they're around 10 between 10 and 12 inches apart i think that's perfect um i also bolted on this knife i this knife sheath deal i got it for christmas about a year or two ago so i'm like what the hell bolted on that way i don't have to carry it on my side um it's perfect for the cut bait you know when that comes into play got that going it won't even go back on right so um, also grab this little light. This is a little wagon tech light. I think Copenhagen or Skoll sent it to me for free. It's magnetic. Uh, it's just bright enough or just dim enough, should I say, to keep all the mosquitoes and bugs and all that other shit away from it. Um, so yeah, that, that's awesome. Uh, my drink cooler, it'll hold 10 to 12 beers, sodas, uh, whatever you prefer to drink. Hold that. You got to have drinks while you're catfishing, sitting there waiting. Uh, the coolest thing that I think I've done with this trailer, trailer, wagon, is this right here. I went to Harbor Freight, and I bought this little magnetic tool strip for, you know, shops or garages and stuff, and said, what the hell, let's bolt that on, too. It is really convenient. It seems like I'm always fumbling around looking for my pliers, or I drop a hook, or I have several hooks just laying all over the place. Uh, you can get really unorganized really fast, and this cuts down on that tremendously. So that's what I think I like most about the car. It's bolted on to with two bolts. Um, I also have this right here. It probably appears a lot bigger on the camera than what it actually is. I mean, you can just see my hand size compared to it, but um, it's not really big at all. Uh, this cooler here, I've had it for years, and I never really used it because I got a good cooler now that you know holds ice longer not the yeti one but yeah i turned it into a little live bait 
live bait yeah live bait I lost my voice I can't even think yeah yeah live bait holder whatever so what I did I went to Walmart and I picked up a little aerator for about six seven maybe eight dollars I can't remember drilled a hole through the side got it mounted securely on there and I also have this little fray bill minnow dip net to catch my perch my minnows my whatever is in here to use as bait um, I have it mounted with a uh, a clip this clip is for a kayak paddle actually and I'm like man that just so happens to work out perfectly um, so yeah it uh it seems to do the job really well um, let's just take a step down this was just for funsies I put me a couple reflectors down there that way I'm legal on the streets you know it's now nah, just kidding I did it because I had them and then I got my tackle box you know it's real plain Jane it's it, you, you can dump as much money as you want into it and put LEDs and whatever you want to put on there or you can make it as simplistic as possible I, I pretty much like it the way it is now by any means by any means this thing's not perfect I mean it's got its downfalls with that just about everything has um, like the two main problems I found with something like this is one it tends to be a little bit top heavy I, I I've noticed going down some hills it feels like I'm gonna tip it over which I probably won't but it's just the it makes me feel a little bit uncomfortable with the top heaviness that it can have and um, two, not that I have to worry about it too much, but I have drug it through it, is sand. It doesn't trek well through sand. I think that's just the tires, though. You'd probably have to replace the tires if you trek through a lot of sand. But here in northwest Arkansas, we don't have that problem, so so be it. But anyways, but anyways, I just wanted to show you guys the catfish and Cadillac. I hope... Uh, I hope it gave you an idea. Um, hope you liked it. Uh, if you see anything else that I could tweak or anything like that, go ahead and give me a shout out. Leave a comment. Like the video if you liked it. I mean, I prefer, yeah. So, but uh, yeah, I think that's about it. And uh, thanks for watching the video. Uh, please subscribe, and I will chat at you later.